I think there are a couple of things. Uh, one, we have to keep in mind that the issue was never just about Mike Brown. It was about a, an endemic system, an endemic sort of history of police violence. And not just police violence, but just policing of people. Um, where, you know, it's not an accident that St. Louis and the out, out, outer suburbs have not only a high rate of arrest, but a place like Ferguson, where with a population of about 21,000 people, have like 35,000 warrants out, you know. And what uh, these counties are doing, uh, these sort of municipalities, are they, they're using sort of broken windows policing as a way to cite people for the most minor, yeah. they're not even crimes, they're sort of status violations. I mean, you don't have a, an up-to-date um, uh, uh, license plate tag or a driver's license. You get, you get ticketed. You can't pay the ticket. You get a warrant for your arrest. You didn't mow your lawn. You can get ticketed. So you've got one and a half warrants for every single person in a, a municipality of 67% black, right? So you know who has the majority of these. It means that you've criminalized the entire community and raised like two, over $2 million of revenue for the municipality on the backs of the poor. So this is a problem that is tied to policing. Uh, that plus the fact that people feel afraid of the police because they are a rogue operation. The, the slogan, hands up, don't shoot. Sometimes we look at that and we see it as a kind of, um, uh, you know, like we've given up, mm -hmm. like we've kind of, we're com compliant and that's not resistance. On the contrary, what those young people are trying to say is that we want the police to, to operate al along the rules of law, that the rule of law should be the way they function. Mm -hmm. We want the rule of law. We want law and order. The rogue elements are the police. Now imagine that message in a moment when the governor is saying, we're going to, I'm going to proclaim a state of emergency because we're afraid of the rioters. Yeah. We know who the rioters are. We, we want to protect property. And, you know, he says in passing, we want to protect, you know, the right of people to protest, to exercise their First Amendment rights. Not the right of people to protest to actually make a difference, right. you know, because protest means you disrupt, mm -hmm. right? So here they are pre preparing for war. You've got black people saying there's a rogue state, and you've got the state preparing for war, mm -hmm. which is a further element of the rogue state. So we have to pay attention to that. And even if uh, people don't plan to go to Ferguson after the indictment or non-indictment comes down, um, what organizers there are asking for uh, are 48 hours of disruption in every city, in every hamlet and township. 48 hours of civil disobedience in solidarity with them. That's what they're asking for, you know, and, and hopefully we can deliver that. Mm -hmm.